Hello. Today in word work, we're going to talk about something very useful. We're going to talk about how we can use word parts to figure out unknown words, words we do not know yet. So we've learned before that words have a prefix, a root, and an affix. So the root is where the word comes from. It gives us the basic meaning. The prefix and the affix can change that meaning a little bit. We've learned some prefixes like re, un, dis, and this. So re means again, like replay would be play again. Un means not, like unfriendly means not friendly. Dis also means not, like, what's a good example? Um, Hmm, man, my brain is totally blanking on this. You'll have to let me know in a comment if you think of one. And miss means wrongly. So misunderstand is to understand something wrongly. So these are some examples of words where I've circled the parts of them. So disobey has a prefix dis and the root is obey. It means to not obey something. Foolish, the root is fool, and the affix is ish, so it means acting like a fool. Disgraceful is something that is not graceful. The parts are dis, the prefix, grace, the root, and full, the affix. So today in word work, you're going to go on Seesaw. You can see examples here, and you're going to look at the word and decide if it has only a prefix, only a suffix, or a prefix and a suffix, and you're going to circle the parts. If you want to listen to the words, rebuild, you can click right there. So let's look at refreshments. Hmm. Let's see. I see re, I see fresh, and I see mint. I think that has a prefix and a suffix because I bet the root of it is a word that I do know, which is fresh. So refreshment, maybe that's like something that makes something fresh again, or it makes you feel fresh again. So it's giving me at least a clue about what that word could mean. So you can see I put it in the right column because it has a prefix and a suffix, and I circled the parts of the word. That's what you'll do with all of these words. Let's get started.